Hello lovely people, this tutorial is going to teach you all about the map module in Lightroom. It's a really in-depth lesson and the map module in Lightroom is a really, really fun thing to learn and to do and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's a great tutorial, let's get straight into it. So you can search and tag your images by location as well as keywords and starring and flagging and stuff like that. It's an option, it's not something that you have to use, but it's there as an option and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Now the easiest way to do it is to add the GPS tag as you take the photos. Some cameras have that option and some cameras haven't got that option. Mobile phones have it as well and tablets and stuff like that, but it depends on the camera that you've got. And if you have got that option, then you just turn it on on the camera and on import, it will tag your pictures into the location that you took them. Let's have a quick look at that now. Okay, so as you know already now that when you import, you go to the library module first and you click import down the bottom. Then you search for your pictures and you import them just like we've done before loads of times now. Now to add the GPS tag to your pictures, first of all, obviously make sure that you've got that setting on your camera. And then up the top here under your name, you need to make sure that address look up, look up is not on pause. So you press that and it will be on play and then when you import the pictures, it will bring that GPS location in with the pictures. And the other thing you can do is you can add the GPS tagging to previously imported pictures again as long as you had that setting on on your camera. So what you do for that is you quite simply in your library module, you select a folder, let's just say this one here, London Night Picks, and then you click your name and you click on address look at, look, sorry, address look up, and then it will scan through all of them pictures within that selected folder and see if it's got GPS tagging within the pictures. Now these ones haven't, so there's no point me clicking that for now. You can tell whether your pictures have got GPS tagging in by simply going to the metadata palette over here. So firstly select a picture, which I've done down here on the film strip. I'm in the library module. I'm gonna click the metadata palette drop down arrow to reveal all the metadata of this image. And in this drop down box here, I'm just gonna click it and I'm gonna to go to location. As you can see, there is no GPS tagged in this particular picture. It's picked up that it's in London, England because of the keywords that I've added earlier. So that's really clever. But if I want to add GPS tagging to these images, I can do it manually. And we're gonna do that in the map module. So let's go into the map module now. So let's click on the map module tab at the top here, like that. As you can see, it brings up a lovely map of the world. Now you need to be working online for this to work because it connects to Google Maps. If you're not online, um, this GPS tagging will not work. So make sure you're online before you do this. So I just wanna take this opportunity to tell you that this lesson is part of our Lightroom course, which is over at theschooloffotography.com. It's a complete guide to Lightroom, and it's designed to take beginners from the beginning stage right the way to the end, so you're editing like a pro. And it will also help out people who have just been fumbling around on Lightroom, doing bits here and there, but not really grasping the full potential of what Lightroom can do for your photography. So if you really want your photography to shine and be 10 times better, come over to the schooloffotography.com and we will teach you how to use Lightroom to really make your photography shine out. I hope to see you over there. Now let's get back to the tutorial. 
Okay, so let's have a look round first of all, and let's show you the zoom in options. The first one is the most obvious one down the bottom here. You've got a minus and a plus, and quite simply, you can zoom in on it like this. And now I'm in, oh, I'm in the Celtic Sea, look at that. And I can zoom out again like that and view the full map. The other thing that you can do is you can press the plus and minus key. So you press the plus key to zoom in and you press the minus key to zoom out again like that. You can also hold down the alt key or the option key if you're on a Mac and you can draw a rectangle or square around the area that you want to zoom in on. So let's do that now. Hold down the alt key and let's draw a square around England and then I'm gonna draw a square around London and again, zoom right in on it like that. So that's another way that you can do it. You can also just use your mouse wheel as well. So I can zoom out with my mouse or zoom in with my mouse. And as you can see, it's zooming into areas of London like that. And let's zoom out again. Um, I'm gonna drag this slider right back to the full map again down the bottom. And you can also search for an area in the search box at the top over here. So I'm gonna click in the search box and I'm gonna type in London and press return. And then as you can see, London pops up just like that. So now let's look at our different view options. And it's pretty much like Google Maps if you've ever used it on your phone. It's the same thing here. Over down the bottom here, you've got map style. You just click on that and you can select different map styles, pretty much like what you can on Google Maps. Um, we're gonna leave ours at hybrid for now. Okay, now let's look how you can add a GPS location tag to your current images that you've already imported into Lightroom. It's really, really easy, in fact. Firstly, select the folder of the images that you want to tag. And you do that by going to the library module and selecting the folder that you want to use. I'm gonna use my London Night Picks folder that we was using earlier on in this course. Once you've got them selected, then you go back over to the map module. And as you can see, I've got the metadata for this picture down on the right hand side here. And I've currently got the location option selected. Then what you do is you find the area where you took the pictures on the map. Um, these ones here were taken on Tower Bridge in London. So let's zoom in a bit, let's hold down the Alt key and let's zoom right in on London. And now I'm gonna scroll with my mouse and there's Blackfriars Bridge and there's HMS Belfast and there it is there, Tower Bridge. So I'm gonna zoom right in on that and that's Tower Bridge from above. And this might be my age here, but I still find it absolutely fascinating that we can access a map of the world like this and zoom in on it from above. But here we go, that's Tower Bridge. And these two pictures here were taken on Tower Bridge. And if I really wanna get particular, this one here was taken on this section of the bridge here. Now all I do is I click on that picture and I drag it right where it was taken there and release. And now over here under GPS, you have the GPS coordinates and now that has got a GPS tag on it. So now let's quickly do the others in this folder. So this one here was taken around about here, like that. And then these three were taken on the Manelium Bridge. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna come across the River Thames. There's Waterloo Bridge and it is right there. That's it, the Manelium Bridge. And in fact, they were taken all pretty much in the same spot, which was right in the middle of the Manelium Bridge. So let's hold down the Shift key and select them all, drag them all to the middle of the bridge and release. And now, as you can see, I've got three photos that are tagged on the Manelium Bridge. Okay, let's just show you a few things now, what's happened to the pictures and the map. So if we look down on our film strip, 
we've got another icon here. And if I hover over that icon, it says the photo has GPS coordinates. So that's how you can tell if your pictures have got a GPS tag on them. It will have that symbol on it there. And now if I just zoom out from my map using the scroll on my mouse, I can hover over these pictures and as you can see, the pictures will appear as a small thumbnail, which is really quite handy. And let's go over to this one, I'll hover over this, and now I can see I've got one of three, and I can just click through these arrows to see all three of them pictures. Now, if I want to remove the GPS tag, again, it's really, really easy. All I do is, let's come over to the Tower Bridge ones. All I do is right click on them, and go delete GPS coordinates, just like that. And a little box comes up just to confirm. Just click delete location, and that's that. And as you can see now down on the thumbnail, the GPS tag symbol has disappeared. Now, when you start to export these pictures now as JPEGs or whatever you're gonna export them for, it will have the GPS location in the photographs metadata. That's fine for most things, especially if you want people to see where the pictures were taken. But on occasions, you don't want that information on for well, safety reasons, mainly, you know, if you're taking pic if you're on holiday or you're taking pictures of your kids and you're gonna be uploading these pictures to Facebook or wherever you're gonna be uploading them, you might not want that location information within that picture. So what you can do is you can add the locations in Lightroom so they make them easier for you to view. But when you export them pictures, you can remove the um, GPS metadata. And I'm gonna just quickly show you how to do that now. Okay, so let's just use these three that we've got selected down here already. I'm gonna right click on them. I'm gonna go export and I'm gonna go export just like we've looked at before. Now, if you remember, we made some presets before. For instance, this one here, low res JPEG 2000 pixels. They are the uh, general ones that you're gonna probably put on Facebook or wherever you're gonna put them. So let's just select that preset. Now, as we go down to the bottom here, you've got metadata options. And here it says, remove location info. So you can tick that before you export the pictures and it will remove the GPS tag so that it doesn't show up on, well, internet sites and stuff like that. So it's just a safety thing and it's there for you if you need to. You can also, let's just tick that off. You can also choose to just export the copyright and contact info on the metadata as well. So that's another way that you can do it. Let's just go down to cancel at the bottom there. So I hope you like that tutorial. If you did, please press the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more. We've also got lots of Lightroom tutorials on our channel. I'll put a link to that here. And we've got loads of free presets that you can download as well. Don't forget that this tutorial was part of our whole Lightroom course, which is over at theschoolofphotography.com, and it will teach you Lightroom properly, and you will be editing like a pro in no time. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.